Hey there, everybody. Uh, I said, I hope everybody's weekend went good. And I didn't get to the metal store. Uh, they were closed for some reason, so I didn't get to it. But here's what I, I did get done. Okay. Uh, I had a guy make a comment on the weight. He, th he don't know if it, he don't think that it needed either. I didn't think it would either, but I think I'm still going to add it. And the reason being is even 25 pounds. I mean, this, this is all just a kind of a made up deal anyway. So this either works or it doesn't. And it's the only thing I'm out is this engine here. And I, you know, I don't know. I could always put it on that go-kart if I wanted, you know, or, you know, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. But, uh, I do know that, uh, the 25 pounds will help it. Now to help, here's how it's going to go. So I'm going to put a, that idler that actually came off a car so i think i'm going to use it uh to get probably put it you know just up like this uh to take the belt and a belt will run around the pulley like this and then up onto this idler and then straight to the engine and then it'll come around the engine and come this well this will go on the other side but then this will be let's say i don't know right here i, I don't know yet no but let's say you know somewhere in here and uh, I might put an eyeliner down here, too, to have it come around. And I might change the belt idea, too. I don't know. And then that idler there, uh, it may go here. I, like I said, I haven't quite figured all that out yet, How where I want it. But that's the one that's going to go on to the lever to tighten the belt. Okay? So... I don't know if I'm going to have it pushing down. If I have it pushing down, then I won't per se put an idler here. And I can come right over onto this side, let's say, and grab the lever, pull it up. And the frame's not on yet, but I'll be able to... Oops, watch out, dummy. I'll be able to pull up the lever and then hook it onto the thing, which pulls down on the belt. And if it pulls down on the belt, let's say here, then this... And then I put this up tall enough, uh, the engine turns like this. So uh, with this coming up here and coming over and going on, pulling on the engine, it, if it comes up to here, it should have the torque on this side to help spin it, pulling this down, which will put torque on this, I think, and spin it. And that's how that goes. Uh, and here is the reason... I'm putting, now I'm going to try to keep it to where this engine is on the inside of this uh, four layer thing here. So I don't have to really pay attention to, you know, where I'm going there. Maybe. I don't know. Because uh, I can still pull it over. But here is why I'm doing it this way. Uh, it does look like it's not compact and so forth. Uh, but this is a reason being is I should be able to pull this up like this. Oops, oops, son of a hoey, check you. I about lost everything. Be able to pull this up like this and be able to mow uh, bushes going down a path and it'll clear the path for the wheeler there. Oh, well, try to do this. Whoo, whoo, there we go. About lost $10 million there. Uh, but you can kind of see that then that will be out here so that it can mow uh, a path if I need to, uh, or trim up from the edges of a path, or I don't know, it really don't matter, I guess. Uh, that's just kind of what it's going to go there. Uh, sheesh, let's see here. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work though. Uh, and the reason I'm don't know if this is going to work because I really didn't think about it until uh, today, actually. But uh, I'm going to try it. And if it doesn't work, then I'll go back to the drawing board. And per se, this half will be fine. It'll be this half that won't be fine. Is Here's the pivot. You know, this thing turns like this. I don't have the pulley hooked up. But this thing turns like this to move this deal here. And I made it on a pivot so that way I could pick it up and it could still turn no matter which, whether it was up or what it was down. And I still got to decide whether I want to uh, quit it, would you? Make a, 
adjustment so that the the bar could go like this also you know tilt down like this uh so that you know if i wanted to mow the side of a ditch of a of the road or whatever it could tilt down it but my problem is is that is my pivot point and it is going to be pulling on this bar uh i mean it turns fine now but i think i kind of failed there uh, i don't think it's gonna to be honest i don't think it's gonna work uh, but so my solution to that is i'm gonna go ahead and put it together because i can still put in well maybe i can't put in this belt or whatever but maybe because i could always cut it off here and then just redo it because this is only i don't know but i think my solution would maybe be uh put in a you know maybe instead of this here uh put in a pillow block and a, you know side by side put one in here and then it's a straight up bearing that yeah i'd still be pulling on a bearing but uh you know i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do yet like i said i don't know if that's really gonna work but uh, i can change it up so that's the nice thing about all this junk is you know you can cut it apart and uh put it back together and maybe maybe put it back together you know you might have scraps that end up in a pile but but there's where it is uh kind of alleviate some for, oh and the balancing of the of the the weight here uh my my thought on the weight is i could take it to the tire store um uh tire store and i are you know on good terms and uh they had said sure bring it on in and uh, throw it on the balancer and have your way at it so all i gotta do is take it in there put it on their balancer spin it up and see uh see if it's balanced or not you know and then go from there and i can go and uh drill it out or weld on it or whatever it takes to try to get it in balance but that should help there the anybody thinking about the the balance i get to go to the tire store uh to have that balanced uh and they're real nice to me so it won't cost me anything or if it does it's very little but there it is and that's kind of how it looks there like i said uh, uh i might might cut this back a little bit but now i might not do anything with it well see that goes like that uh and then like i said wherever this goes this this goes in there uh it'll go on a on a tab uh to to uh spin uh but yeah i think what i'm gonna do is i'll probably i think this might be a three quarter inch shaft I, I i can't remember but uh and to be honest it really don't matter i can make anything i want except for you know i'd have to watch out for my pulleys so that's what i'll try to do this matches pulley because this did come on it uh this shaft i can always uh, make that if i need to but you know think of this i can you know it's spinning and there's bearings in it so no matter what happens and i don't know if the grease is going to be good enough here so i'll I'll probably have to bitch. I'll probably have to just cut that part. Measure this. Order a couple uh, bearings. Uh, I think, like I said, I think it's three quarter. But I have to get some for this too. And this is inch and an eighth. Uh, and I was going to put uh, this everything on the inside of this frame. Uh, so this this uh, pulley will be on the back side of this, and this will just be shoved up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, probably failure. Probably not fail. Probably it's probably a failure. But you never know. I might be able to. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Yeah, you know, I'll probably have to scrap it. But oh well, uh, live and learn. Uh, you know. But there it is. Reason why it's so wide is so I can mow out to the side. I'll be able to mow along the. Uh, uh, roadway if i want uh be able to pick it up uh and then this of course here will be able to i don't know how far up it'll raise but that'll put that that bar clear up here if i want so not that that matters either uh if this don't work then i'll go back to the way it was i did look on the internet and saw that back in the day they had some sort of hoop on this that pushed the grass forward to uh keep it from piling up so you know i haven't even looked to see what this was really i just started i found it got it give to me so just thought what the heck 
I'll make something and this is what I was going to make. And then, you know, so this, I'm not copying nobody. Uh, but if it, this doesn't work, then I'll copy the manufacturer and come up in a hoop and then put it up in the front, I guess. That isn't quite how I wanted it, but anyway, thought I'd kind of show you an update. Don't have any metal. Should probably have to scrap that. That kind of blows goats, but, uh, yeah. Now you'll get to see that this picks up. Uh, I hope that kind of clarifies some things. You know, the weight. Uh, I wish I had, you know, I've got a couple big, I wish I had something a little different, but this is what I got. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know if that's going to be able to cut through little, you know, little sticks or trees. I don't even know if that'll be able to do it. But, I don't know. There we go. Uh, like it or don't, comment if you'd like. Uh, really help if you subscribed, if you're seeing this. Uh, I'm trying to hit a 100 subscribers. Uh, be pretty nifty. I'm like at 50. I don't know. I think the last I looked was maybe 55. Uh, which is quite awesome. So thank, thank you to 55 people. Uh, you know, you're really thank you a bunch. Uh, but here you go. Uh, any comments? Tell me what you think. Uh, don't matter if you say it sucks. Doesn't matter if you say do this, do that. All opinions are valuable to me. So, uh, love you all. Uh, have a great week, folks. And catch you on the flip side.